Okay, you can. What? You put this. You cheater. This is a note that we made for each other that we pack in our lunches for each other. And we pass it back and forth whenever we have a new milestone. I guess this one counts. On the way home, sweet hypnosis, I have the distinct honor of playing a double role today. Not only was I asked to be a member of this gorgeous wedding party, I was also asked to officiate this beautiful celebration, which clearly is one of the biggest honors of my life. And I'm gonna pull it together. <laughs> I am the proverbial Steve Martin, father of the bride. Before I get started, I want you to know there are at least two, possibly more wagers on whether I break down here, so. As I've gone through the, the last week, the, the memories just rush over you. It's, a, it's incredible. And I remember when, when she met Colin and um, how her eyes shone when she was with him, and they still do today. I need your dad. I know. <laughs> yeah. She's one of those people that you immediately become friends with. Like Aaron said, she's just kind of in your life all of a sudden, in a great way. Um, she's so loving, and she's so consistent with her friends and those people that she loves. She has this innate sense that one week if you're feeling a little down, all of a sudden you have a care package in the mail from Alexandra. She just, she knows her friends and her family so well and she knows how to love them. And it's something truly unique about a person. It's something that we love about you. Alexandra is one of my favorite people to argue with ever. And it's been so, so fun to just really get into it, have someone who pushes back really hard uh, and I'm really glad to see uh, a woman that will do that for Colin. That will, that will push him, that will challenge him. He makes you feel like your family. He makes you feel like you're the most special person when you walk into the room, even when his wife is in the room. He still makes you feel like you're so, so special. And you two just, you exude love. You, you know how to care about people and you, you care so deeply. As you all know, both Alexandra and Colin have a beautiful magnetism about them. It draws you in and it makes you want to be near them. So when Brett and I had the opportunity to introduce them for the first time, it was an easy pairing for us to imagine. Alexandra and Colin, in the time since, you have supported one another through graduations, beginnings of careers and job changes, new ambitions, moves, sicknesses, joys and sorrows, good news and bad news. You continue to respect one another's independence while working diligently together toward growth and unity. We are so imperfect and I know the challenges ahead may seem insurmountable to the people we are now, but as you often remind me, as the challenges we face grow, so too does our capacity to meet them. We choose who we want to be and who we want to be with, and I know my life is infinitely and forever better because you are my choice. I remember the first moment I saw you. I remember the spiral staircase at Louie Louie's. I remember counting my breaths with each step up the railing. At the top of the stairs, you were facing away from me in that dress, and I thought, I hope to God that's her. I knew right there that the only room with a view is a room with you in it. In these four and a half years, you've helped me grow into someone I never thought I could be. You've given me strength. You've given me resolve. You've made me into me. Things I thought I would never be able to do, you've built me up and allowed me to believe. You've allowed me to believe in myself. I promise to cherish you for being you. You are enough. All of your merits and all of your flaws, I accept it all. I accept you for you. I promise to love you, to actively choose you every day. I promise to stay beyond the sunrise. We've always had it.
love is more than just a feeling. It's a choice to make every day. To love each other for better and worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. To take leaps of faith together and let the strength of your love and commitment carry you through any obstacles. In Colin and Alexandra, I see two people who will always make that choice to continue to learn and love and grow together. Your wedding day is a celebration of the relationship you have built and a stepping stone into the beautiful life you will create together in your marriage. You will continue to forge a life of love, laughter, learning, growing, and adventuring. In the covenant of marriage, you are making a pact of lifelong partnership, accountability, and support. You will never walk alone so long as you remember and call upon the promises that you are making today. Colin and Alexandra, by the power granted to me by the state of Texas, it is my joy to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. I am thrilled to introduce to you for the very first time, Dr. and Mrs. Colin and Alexandra Runyon. Life's like a box of chocolates, you never know what you're going to get. Some days those chocolates are going to be bitter when you open them. Some days one of you might like the chocolate and the other might not. But most of, most of the time those chocolates are going to be so sweet. And if you will just take a little time every day to remember your first date and to continue to date each other and to continue to love each other like that first day, it'll be great. Colin Alexandra, you have not found someone you can live with. Colin Alexandra, you have found someone you cannot live without. Amen. I did not think I was going to cry that much. <laughs>